Welcome back fellow armchair generals, this is Gamer1745 here with my continuing invasion of the Soviet Union as part of Barbarossa 1942 while playing thir um, well, boy, um, playing Hearts of Iron 3 with Black Ice 8 and 3rd Reich events installed. Okay, let's get to this a little bit while we're getting close to, this, to Moscow there. Okay, good. Good, we won down here in Kuala Lumpur. Now let him attack. units are going to become a problem shortly I think but not just yet we're gonna do what we can keep them from becoming a problem we're still technically defending Been having this fuel problem for a while, as few of you pointed out. Though right now I have more oil coming in than I need. And I've got a lot of supplies being produced. I think this is a decent move here. Yeah. That's a little better. But let's keep moving up along here.
Let's see if we can do it one those. Can't forget, there's Moscow. Don't want to be distracted too far off from it, but we want to keep all these units moving that we can. on them. Okay, good. Good. Yeah, something for me here. Just a tiny of a bunch of units. That's good. into the Let's bomb them.
we'll hit them in the flank there. Well, it looks like I'm... Well, maybe the fuel situation's better now. Oh, I don't know. Still want to do my naval invasion, but I don't know if we'll... Well, let's do some... Air superior. Let's fly over there. Six conscript units. Okay, well. Well, that attack has failed. This. So, what's the terrain like here? Okay, you guys. You're gonna attack there. You could pocket in the mountains. Since they're not retreating out. See them moving all these units here to deal with me. See, I'm hoping, I know I've talked about this a bit before, I'm well aware that there's a, a real possibility that I might be hit with a sledgehammer down here and these forces are, are brittle. But I'm going to push while I can, at least this is my thoughts, push while I can. Yeah, hopefully, if, so I do have some army units, this one's not, other than slowly moving, advancing forward at mile and a half an hour because of river straight crossing problems, primarily. Weather as well, I think, but um, just using that to clean up the pockets. And then I have this division, this division, and these divisions that Weather. What's the weather like down here? Mm. Okay, I guess it just frozen is the problem here with some of these units. So that I will have hopefully um, four good armor units with Comp Group 88 included in there. And then I'll be able to um, withdraw back to this, you know, mountain line here, hopefully, and hold that there at least. But while they're doing all that, shifting all those forces there, 
hoping this panzer force that's moving this way will um, continue to smash in towards Stalingrad. And so those forces, as well as keeping them away from Moscow, obviously we have lots of forces up here which apparent victories into Finland has hopefully keeping them occupied. At least that's my thought. Who knows if that's what's going to happen. That's why we're watching to find out. Carrier and aircraft gunfire controls advance. So once we do get our carrier, um, fire control will be no longer. Okay, good. We'll be a little better protected. No land lease. No one buy food from you. Now let's take a quick look at some of our European partners to see if anybody's producing more fuel. How much are they producing? Well, maybe they'll sell us a fuel. So well, will they sell us two? Okay. Buy two fuel. Croatia should be already. Except my puppet should be sending us all their extra stuff, supplies, fuel. Whatnot. Ireland. We got a bunch of extra fuel, so let's see if we can buy ten fuel. We're running a deficit probably because of their wacky supply system. Vichy. Okay. Can't trade with them right now. A little more fuel, a little more fuel, and one another battle. Forward. See, I'm always sort of, should I move them? Okay, here's a thing that I learned, and I'm sure most of you already know this who actively play. But at times I used to have a situation like this, have a big bunch of, big stack of troops like these guys here. And then go, you know, SR move. I'll show them up here. And then, boom. Boom. No supplies, no fuels ready for them, and they just get stuck there. And I'm worried about that. So, where if you move them normally, it's much more likely that they're going to get fueled there at a, the appropriate time. 
but what happens also is is these units that are moving forward will run out of fuel and just stop or supplies as it may be so it becomes a which one do you want to do like him he just died because he didn't have supplies or fuel down there as well as once they get there there's the delay to reorganize themselves basically get them off the trains and get them in shape to fight that's which would be better Oh, there's like a Romanian division or somebody shattered. No. Finish. Oh, oh, I know what happened. I think. So again, these guys are running out of fuel. Don't know what it is because we even have a positive on the fuel up there. With this attack that didn't go as well as we had hoped. Now they have nine conscript units here. They had six before, and I don't know if they're retreating or whatever, but, well, can't wait forever.
to look at this course here finally. I cut everybody off and everybody retreated into Moscow. Hopefully, someone somewhere else. Supplies. Okay, I think we're going to end this episode here. Thanks for viewing. Um, thanks for liking the videos. Please post comments. Glad you're still with me.